And Mark, another, you know, you have another body of work here, the uh, uh, Banished series, which is chemographs, which is another, again, it's like an alternate process that's kind of free-flowing, right? Yeah. It just kind of happens. And it's, uh, it's about the lost musicians and artists and composers during the Third Reich, a horrific yeah. period. Lots of, uh, lots of people were lost, lots of artists were lost, lots of artists that probably we didn't, you know, artists we maybe knew about and artists that yeah. we get to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many Mozarts and Picassos? Right. We lose? Yeah. And uh, they're kind of, they're haunting, but I wouldn't, you know, I don't think they're depressing at all, but uh, can you explain the, the process and even like, you know, how long have you been doing this portfolio? This isn't like an overnight thing, is it? No, it's been since about 30 years. Wow. It's a... Uh, Yeah, it's it's tough. Yeah, and I, uh, they're they're powerful. They they have gravity. <laughs> they pull one in. Yeah. And I I haven't designated any significant composer or musician to any one of the images because I didn't want to lead the viewer. Right. My thinking was you can look at this one and say well, that could be Hindemith. Maybe it's Hindemith. So I wanted to keep that sort of thing going. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to try to put a label on it. It was just easier to put yeah. it on. And you have a a, a, a catalog. Catalog is going to be available, and, and you also have a portfolio. A portfolio. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, what are the what are the the, the portfolios, chemographs as well? Or are they? Yeah, the no, re reproduction would be right there. All right. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a nice spot. For me, it's, uh, it's a, sort of a good contrast between the two. You've got pretty flowers on one side, you got something that's perhaps not so pretty on the other. It sort of balances me out. Um, I'm not really that interested in... I need content. I need content in what I'm doing. In other words, instead of a pretty flower, I mean, there's plenty of pretty flowers and plenty of pretty photographers that are shooting pretty flowers. To me, it's got to, it's got to be something to it, and maybe that's something that doesn't affect anybody else. But it's uh, kind of a selfish, self-indulgent thing, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I think that's art has that aspect to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, I asked Ari if he wanted to do a show together, and he's like, "Yeah, that'd be a good idea." And I thought to myself, now, Ari knows all of these people. He's going to have this gigantic following. And I'm going to have a few people. So I was no fool. I thought, I'll just travel on our Asia trails. <laughs> so thank you, Ari. God bless you. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really honored to, to show with him. He's a uh, icon in himself. He really is. So, thank you. So the butterfly was right. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect. I want to thank you guys for sitting down with us, and I hope everybody, uh, not everybody, we couldn't, have, we couldn't handle everybody, but I certainly hope that if anyone's thinking of coming to our opening on Thursday, September 1st, 2016, 6 to 10 o'clock, and we have lots of other gallery hours associated with it. You should go to uh, uh, fineartcenter.org to find out everything about it, and uh, thank you. Well, I, I just want to be sure that when people do come, that they bring with them a sense of wonder. Yeah.